What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Chris. That's Mike. This is The Walking Dead. What's up, man? What's going on, brother? Mission, man. Damn it's right, bro. It's been a while. We miss you guys. Uh, yes. I hope you're watching this. Thank you for uh, coming back and hanging out. We took a little bit of a break during the holidays. Uh, yeah, had some little, family little time. Hiatus. Had to get some things yeah. done. This show is back for better, for worse, whatever. Uh, Mike and I have some thoughts about this. We're going to talk about mm -hmm. it momentarily or right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right this second, exactly. Uh, what you? I mean, what do you think? I mean, what? I mean, the big question is is Carol. I think um, from the questions that I got from some friends and stuff, they they were all talking about Carol and what do you think about her? Right, right. And right. just just putting everybody into harm's way um, for a while now. What do you what do, What do you think about that? Yeah, do you man. like to see her? Do you like to see her like that? You know, I and mean, this rift with Daryl and her well, now. one of the first notes I wrote. To, for this episode was more talking with Daryl and Carol. Like it's just, it's like yeah. the seventh scene that we've seen this season where they just have to sit and talk and it's like the same shit. Yeah. You know, you're asking me if Daryl's going to be like, yo, enough, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, similar to what Rick did with her back in, what was that season three where he pretty much said, all right, get out of here. Take your, he gave her like a van and some supplies. And I just, you know what it is? I just, could Daryl do that? Uh, I don't think Daryl can because I just don't like. Right, let's go to the let's go to the very end mm -hmm. of the episode when she's like, "Tell me, tell me, it's my fault." You know what I mean? Like, tell me this is my fault. And it's like, it's a pity party with her. Yeah. And I, I listen. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it's. I, I get it. I get it. But you know, just to take a step back, it's like the the writing on the show. It's it's very it's annoying. It's like. <laughs> It doesn't, for some reason, they don't, it doesn't go in different places. It just, it just really does. It's, it's very bland. It's very bland. And unfortunately, it makes the characters bland when these characters are not, mm. you know, going back to kind of what you asked me, like, you know, they, they, they're putting Carol in this position where it's like, she's a character where you're like, I don't like, what are you doing? This yeah. episode, she was, she impulsively went after alpha right last episode this episode yeah. she impulsively you know for, although she's got claustrophobia then she impulsively yeah. decides that she's going to try and wipe out the horde i was like what are you doing yeah if there was a different that, way there was a different way they could have went and used the dynamite well let's yeah. okay well you want to talk about I, that what did you yeah. think about the fact that they saw an arrow and they just wound up coming out of a hole that yeah. obviously the, the the whispers don't use. I know. I was thinking that too. There had to be a different way because <laughs> there's no way the whispers about? were all coming from. They would have had to have come from the outside of that little hole that they were digging out of, where and Jerry it was, was boarded holding up. up. And it was yeah, boarded so up. So there's no way. Obviously, there was a different way. They Look, chose you, the wrong. You you could go back the other way yeah. and find the because then Magda mm -hmm. and and um Connie Connie. Thank you. I was gonna say Kelly. Yeah. They get attacked, and mm -hmm. everyone, you know. Now, obviously, they don't know that up up top. But oh, oh you're talking up top. No, I'm talking, talking. No, I'm talking about when they get attacked. When Jerry finally gets up, and the thing collapses, and it's the whole thing. They were being attacked from behind. Guess what? They can get out. They're not trapped. They can get out the yeah. way the they just got attacked. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're fine. Connie yeah. and Magda are fine. They're gonna follow the. They're gonna the, get out somewhere. Yeah. So that was yeah. a little annoying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, just it was so dark, dude. It was. It, it was it's like uh, that's a big complaint that I that I've heard about like, about the episode. It is dark. dark. And that's that's fine. You know, it was. It was it, for me season. though. The you know, even though it was a bit dark, it was kind of intense. Um, I, I think those scenes of them crawling through is intense for me because I know that I would probably have a tr trouble um, making it through the, those tight spaces like that too. Uh, so that for me, was, I mean, that was like a plus of the episode, but. You know, it's it's the, when we're talking about Carol too quick, since we're on the topic still, mm -hmm. the thing that kind of didn't make sense was the fact that why would she show so much remorse and to Daryl and say, tell me, you know, just tell me that I, I did wrong. Like if she has that sense to know that what she was doing is wrong, why would she do it in the first place to put everybody in harm's way? So it's just like she can't control herself. You know, what I mean, she's obviously not thinking Right. Properly, because the right way to think would be, all right, we have this sweaty dynamite. We can take out a big, um, a big 
percentage of this horde. Let's get everybody out, you know, and then blow it up afterwards with right. this. You know what I mean? So obviously she's not in the right right frame of mind and she's just thinking red, 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 you know? Yeah, I, I, she breaks I, down when they're when she's yeah. getting, when Dal saves her from falling, and it's like, I mean, I believed her for a second. This this last like... of many uh, conversations Daryl and her have had already. Like, I kind of believed her in this one, but I don't know it's kind of getting annoying and, and a bit because it's been multiple seasons now. Yeah. And she lived alone, yeah. and like, and that yeah. was that. Like, I think just yeah. She didn't want to kill, remember? Then she did want to kill, yeah. then she didn't want to kill. I mean, they did some... There's just some things that... It's tough, man. That's why I miss these these earlier episodes, uh, earlier seasons and stuff, because it was just so good, That's dude. the problem. And, you know, and now, you know, let's talk about the fact that Michonne's leaving and Maggie's coming yeah. back, and it's mm-hmm. just like... Mm-hmm. It's just... Ah, man, that's sad. <laughs> I don't want to make it a hate fest because it's but been a look, while since we did this. But I, exactly, exactly. It brings and, it out, and though. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like dislike this episode. I, no, I, 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 like, I don't want to dislike these episodes, but mm-hmm. I have to be honest and be like, I just don't. It's so you know, and I think about it. It's like I'm gonna go and talk about this show. Like I, like you know, I didn't write it. I wasn't in the writers' room. I wasn't. I didn't act it. I didn't. You know, I didn't create it. I didn't light it. I didn't shoot yeah. it. You know, it's like, but it's like. But you're doing it for people like us because you know what I mean. So it's like I feel like you owe you owe if you're doing this for, for us, the fans, and you owe us, yeah. you owe us better. And it's Almost a shitty safe. thing to say, and I and, and you yeah. know, and I am a bit sorry about it. But I'm you know we again I can't we watch so many damn other shows that are just fucking Watchmen, dude, on HBO. Mm-hmm. It's got to be one of the best fucking series that 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 channel has ever put out. It was it's it was fantastic. It was so yeah. good. It was so damn good, you know. <laughs> and like just like there's just I don't understand. Like, are they tired? Are they tired of writing? Are they tired of where this is going? Like, are they tired of what they're doing? Like, I, don't I just know. don't get it because you're yeah. putting the characters. There's just it's there's nothing now. They're all the same. Even the new guys, they're all the same, you know? The shit where Magda's like, I want to get home, and, you know, Aaron's... Everyone's so sad, and it's just like, oh, I know it's a sad yeah. situation, but anyway. Yeah. I was really, I was like, I was like upset about Jerry. I was like, no, don't let Jerry... I knew he was well, going to get stuck, though. I mean, I that's... A, I mean, dude. we kind of talked about this earlier with Jerry, okay? He's a big guy. He's having trouble getting it, getting through this this um, tight space in this, in this cave. Um... Back in the day, in the earlier seasons, one through, I'd say, even five or six, Mm. it wasn't very easy getting away from these walkers. So if I happen to get um, attacked from the back, what's the first thing the walker does? Sink into your shoulder. Sink his teeth into your neck. It's like instant. Or your legs or your ankles, you know? These things, these these walkers now are so much different. There was, I think it was Michonne was like covered with them, but then she got out. And she didn't end up with a scratch. It's just so different the way the threat of the walkers were in the earlier seasons, and how 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 fast they were on you, and how fast they were to bite you, and and right. potentially kill you depending on where they bit. But that- so now Jerry has his sneakers there. He has two walkers right at his feet and they can't go that extra inch to, to, to bite into his leg to, you know, and I'm not saying I wanted that, but my question really is to you is that they've changed so much the way the walkers attack people. And it's just so easy. They're like, you, you can kind of brush them off. Would you have liked to see Jerry maybe get taken out there? You know, he's kind of. I mean, you know, they could they could have made him help a little more, or something like that. But yeah. before he got to the lumber and hold up, held held up the cave. Well, what do you what do you think about that? I yeah yeah. I think I think you should have added some drama. I feel like why are you afraid to lose characters? Like, look, I don't want to see any characters. I don't want to see any actors without jobs. Again, I love the people in these shows. Mm-hmm. These actors are amazing. Carol, I love her. She's she's such she's such a. Me too. She's such a good actor. You know what I and mean? And I like Jerry and too. But I it's love like Jerry. Sometimes... And you don't want to see them. I don't want to see people without a job. But for the show, for the story, like this yeah. is your coming back. You're in this dire situation. You made it nothing. You even mm-hmm. even the two people that got quote unquote trapped, they're not trapped because we saw other people coming from a different location in the in the yeah. cave that they're out, they're gonna get out. It'll it's gonna yeah. be fine. Oh, absolutely. What was that blood? Was that from the walkers' mouths? 
You know, and the other yeah, thing too like is they so, sunk into his shoes and ripped up his shoes or so something. They, it looked so they so they didn't get his skin. Yeah, they were struggling to climb up to get to his skin. Yet once they pull him out, the thing comes flying right out. Yeah. Oh, so then it's it's like yeah, it's like back again, in the day, dude. It was so, no one was safe. Yeah, and now they're you surrounded. I mean? yeah. Kelly falls. Uh, yeah, uh, and she's on the rock yeah. and doesn't even get grabbed. Yeah, yeah, they don't exactly. Even, she does. I was like, oh, they, she's gonna they would have been chopped. I thought she was gonna like, yeah. Except, oh, but one second, and then they chopped the arm off. He's like, let me see yeah. that, and he makes a yeah. torch out of it. Like it is. It's like, look, I mean, I'm not saying I want everyone to die. I'm just saying he There's, or Jerry could have made it out of there, the and he could have been the one. You know? He could have been the one to sacrifice sacrifice himself with the dynamite to. Okay, so things. now that would be okay. So Jerry got bit, right? Oh yeah. no, you're bit. Don't worry, I'm gonna get. He's holding up the thing. <laughs> Everybody gets out. Come on, Jerry. He's like, no, I'm gonna. And then the and then the walker, the whispers yeah. come and he fights them off. Yeah. And he dies that way. Or you can even make it that it collapses and but he gets yeah. out and then they chop off. It's like I don't know. Just I guess it would defeat the purpose man. because then if they just take out a big portion of the the horde, it's not going to be beneficial but for the not? story in the future. But why uh, not? Because the, because you know that right? the, those walkers are going to come on hilltop or Alexandria, whatever the hell that, they're but, going. But so. we've seen that already. We've well, seen it's gonna it. Happen wouldn't again. it be great, Mikey? Wouldn't it be great? Here's a question: Wouldn't it be great <laughs> if they take out three quarters of her of Alpha's horde and she's like, "Oh damn it!" And they're like, "That's right, bitch. We just took out." Your whore. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Send us ten, ten at us? You know, like do something different. Yeah. We've just, seen the I mean, whore a thousand straight, times. We've straight seen away it all from the comic. You know, that's, that's what fine. I don't give a shit. It's fine. That's could, listen. It's yeah. it's fine. Now, yeah. in fact, the comic's over. Whatever. It doesn't fucking yeah. matter now. None of that shit matters. Yeah. But my point is, is like just fucking do something different. Anyway, I want to talk about Negan. Yeah. Enough about that shit. Yeah. Some, <laughs> enough about that enough shit. Enough about that shit. So, yeah. another annoying. Alpha's just getting real annoying too because dude, they just love to drag this fucking shit out, man. Alpha's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we get it. We get it. We get it. Mm. The best part of the episode is when he talks to her. Negan is talking to her. Oh, when he break kind of breaks down like I was in charge he's of like, people. Listen, or... Yeah, that was fantastic. That was that was yeah. the best that was the best writing of the season so far. I love that scene. That was a fantastic scene. I think he went off. Um, I think he improv that. Oh, for real? Yeah, I think they were saying that on Talking Dead, or maybe a portion of it, or something. Either way, it was fantastic. Yeah. It, it, I I think it was great. I love he just doesn't shut up in in a, in a place where he's supposed to not speak. He just doesn't stop talking. Yeah. My question to you is, yeah. where does he get his hair gel from? Um, I mean, he he finds hair gel, but he apparently none of them have soap anywhere, so. So, right? Is that hair gel? Is it? I get it. I get it. Your hair is going to be greasy. But what is he just wet it with some water? Yeah, and then it just I, stays like I, that? I guess. But he's always got that stuff. Let me ask you this. What did mm. you think about the um, about them getting naked and doing getting it on? I just think it's gross. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I well, hygiene it's aside, like, it's absolutely yeah, disgusting. Oh, but it's just, was it, take, wasn't it at least take being, off your wasn't mask. it like I mean, dumb? Wasn't it like kind of dumb? Like, what's the point? Uh, I mean, well. Maybe, maybe that's a way. That's a way for, for him to. Um, for they, it's gonna be. There's gonna be added drama now, especially if Beta knows. I'm sure. No, Beta's gonna be. Oh uh, well, Beta when Beta finds out, I should say. Beta's asexual. And, it doesn't matter. But that's besides the point. Well, regardless, I just think <laughs> that it's more of. It, oh, he's it gonna be, be a way to to um, obviously gain out this trust for something that may happen in future episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said about Beta, it's gonna cause. Um, some drama between those two characters, obviously, because you know how Negan is. So Negan's definitely gonna like tell him or rub it in his face. But the thing um, that, yeah, the thing that kind of uh, it, it was just gross. The mask, he, take the mask off. How do you think he really enjoyed this, or do you think that he he said screw it, this will benefit? I me. think he kind of liked it. Yeah, I think he did. I think it was true. I think he was like, I mean, it's oh. kind of he's like, it's kind of turning me on. He's weird. He's, gotta, a, he's a weird dude. Anyway, he's all messed up. Yeah. Anyway, he fell he's in our shit. Remember they had the shit. Oh, piles. yeah, he fell in the in the latrine. Yeah, it's so oh, gross. Gosh. Anyway, I just I just yeah, not a just... fan of the not a fan of that. That. Yeah. Them, too. I don't know if we'll see how it plays out. But um, yeah, That's... for right now, it's beneficial for, for yeah. Negan. I think that. 
he's um, he she's trusting him obviously to put her guard down like that. He right. could have easily. I, well, I guess he couldn't have hit anything because he was naked, but that this is a vulnerable vulnerable position for Alpha to be in that we really haven't seen her in yet. So yeah. I don't know. Let, you know, it's yeah. again. I just wanted to move along. I thought yeah. next episode looks looks interesting. Mm. Where Gamma yeah, goes, I still can't get over the fact that that's Thora Birch. Yeah, I, I'm like it, like because I'm, I'm just like that looks like her, but then it doesn't look like her. But then again, she's covered in shit, so. She's covered in shit. It has a mess. It has a she's mess. also twenty five years older or whatever. I know, yeah. Right. When was when was it? Um, Remember, she was in American Beauty. Um, she was in. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, with uh, Kevin. I Spacey remember her and, from what you call it from uh, the uh, what the hell's it called now? The, uh, the Halloween one. Uh, with the, oh my god, people are gonna kill us for not. Sorry, remembering. holy crap. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Everybody's yeah. Talking about with Bette Midler and and. Um, Sex in the City uh, chick. What oh, the hell was Witches it called? Of Eastwick. No. Right? No? <laughs> the Halloween movie with Binks, the, the black cat that was the ghost, and the Sanderson yeah. sisters. Oh, my God. What the hell was it called? Oh, my God. No, I got to look it up. I got I to gotta look it up. Cause... How the hell do I not remember the movie? But she was the little sister. Why am I not signed into my IMDb account on my phone? What's up, oh, man? Oh, God. You guys are probably laughing at that. No, just hold on. We're doing this on camera. I don't care. Thor Birch. Yeah, hold on. Um, she just looks so different, dude. It's like. Dude, I can't get oh, it. Oh, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Holy yeah, shit. Wow. I, could, I couldn't hell. find it. That's funny. The Witches of Eastwick, I said. Witches, <laughs> Witches of Eastwick. Now, who the hell is in Witches of Eastwick? Ain't that Cher or something? Wasn't Cher yes, in that? Cher and like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway. Anyway, yeah, look, so, that's going to end up doing it for us. I think yeah, uh, ending yeah. on an on a IMDb search is, is where yeah. you're going to end it. But um, so anyway, <laughs> anyway, I was just saying that that looks like interesting because, yeah, mm-hmm. she's, def- she's, mm-hmm. she's just flat out being like, yeah, I'm going here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And yeah, I mean, look, let's finish it out. Uh, you know, I just I just uh, see how Michonne leaves. Is, is Maggie coming back this season? Yeah, supposedly. Um, spoilers if you like theory stuff, but these are from from a few um, reputable theory, sources. Theory, yeah, some some theory old, mongers. Old and I don't know because it's funny because multiple channels will have like the same theories. I don't know if necessarily they're giving any kind of leak stuff and they're just you know putting out videos. But it seems that a lot of people are having the same thing. Yeah, so right. Alpha's horde. They're all they're all on Alexander. They're tearing through Alexander or Hilltop, whichever one you want to pick. Where all the survivors are, mm-hmm. and just in the nick of time, Al, uh, Maggie, Maggie swo- swoops in with the Commonwealth. And if you know the Commonwealth from the comic book, they're all like these stormtroopery looking guys with all these armor, and they just tear, they just blow away the threat of this mm-hmm. of these walkers. So that's a big thing. So I don't know if that's going to be the final episode of the season, the second to last, whichever one. They usually kind of do like that second to last episode is like the big one. Yeah. Right? And then the, the this episode 16 is always like the calm after the storm kind of a thing. Right, yeah. So that's that's one of those big things. But, the, but, but Michonne, quickly, I'd like to just say – is I wonder if and even with Rick's departure, like I want to I want to know how much knowledge the writers had of the departures of these main characters before they started adding RJ and 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 Judith, grown up Judith, which I love. So either way, if anyone is there, I, I'm glad she's there. But why have Michonne and Rick now have this child and and then have them gonna, gone yeah. and, ha- and have her leave? You know what I mean? So. There's plenty of capable people in Alexandria to take care of these kids. I don't know if that's just going to add drama or. But that's just weird. We don't, we don't know if she's going to die. Character I, wise, it's weird, right? You're not leaving your children. Back. You fought so hard, and you already lost a child, and it's been haunting you all this time. You have yeah. another child after all this, and in, in in not only Judith but RJ is your own child from your body, and you're just yeah. going to leave. Yeah. If that's, so that's the case, take RJ know. then. You know what I mean? It's like then take them both and let them yeah. all be off the show. But then yeah. now you're. I mean, they're fan favorites. That's why Jerry didn't go. He's a fan favorite. That, uh, yeah, Judith isn't going anywhere. No, I know. But that's that was my like biggest thing. It's like um, Michonne's leaving. Rick left. It would have been cool. Um, I know we're adding. I'm adding more to this, but if. Carl was to still be there. How cool would it have been, even if Michonne left? Because then Carl can kind of step up, and him right, and Judith right. can fight side by side. He can take care of his little brother, right. you know, RJ. And this it would have made Car- Carl's character 
um, much more grown up, more you know, more mature, a parent role, a protector role, because that's yeah. his little sister, that's his little brother. I think that would have been so cool. So that's what kind of is annoying is, did, did we know before you wrote in some of these characters that the main, their parents or whatever are going to leave? So we'll see. That's and, something we don't actually, and, that's something The Walking Dead never really had. I've seen a lot of, you know, you see a lot of these other post-apocalyptic things where you have the older sibling taking care of the younger siblings. And that didn't really happen in this show. Mm -hmm. It's always been the adults. Yeah. And the kids have been like, oh, they're kids. You know? Yeah. And like, you know, even especially when, you know, Lydia was there and those kids, you know, yeah. I would have liked to see something like that in this world. Mm -hmm. but well, that you brought up Lydia quickly too i mean maybe she is the one that can kind of get connie and and uh, magna out of that if she worked with the whisperers she may know of this cave system and right, no true. exits and entrances so maybe that can be a way that she gets uh, they out found of their there way out mikey they were running they were coming from the dark they found their way out it's it was a sick, sick i don't know it was, it was a what are you doing? It, was, I, it was an intense episode i liked the episode but there was a lot of things and i hope you guys don't think we were just trying to rip it apart but um, but you know what? Fuck it, you man. The, because you take the good and the bad. Fuck man. it. There were some good you parts. Know? There were some good scenes. Yeah. Look, they still know how to do tense. Yeah, I mean, it's still good. But and then, but but in that is like, you know what it is, man? Look, we've been doing this for a long time with this show, and we're super hyper. Like, we're just hypersensitive to it. I'm sorry, we are. We're very because, hypersensitive. Because we enjoyed everything from the earlier seasons. And that it's were ten, just like... dude. We've been, you guys watching, like listening, whatever, like ten yeah. years with these characters. Mm -hmm. there are characters too like there are yeah. friends there are family yeah. there are enemies like we you know and it's just when it gets stale it's stale and unfortunately that's we have to tell you about it <laughs> you know that's what happens but yeah. you know we still but like I, to pick out the good spots and yeah yeah exactly so i think i mean i think that's about good i'm looking over quick i mean that's all i see that's I all think I we got. can wrap I got it up else, yeah. anyway that's um, a, you know we'll try and keep them a little shorter next time but this is the premiere so we gotta you know that's right. That's um, right. So check us out on all social media, Alex Third Person Pod. Um, yep. Right in the comment section below. We like to hear from you guys. We want to hear how you feel about this this uh, first episode of the, of, of 10B. Uh, what do you what what's your gripes? What are your likes? Um, let us know. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Um, Chris, it's great to do this again. I'm excited yep. that we got to got back to recording and yep. we appreciate everybody that that loves our channel and and the diehard fans that that yep. always stuck by us absolutely thank you very much we are looking into doing some new stuff there's some new stuff coming on yep. amc and some other stuff so you know we're looking to try and do some different things on this channel so you know uh yeah that's what we're looking to do so you know we'll see you in the rest of the year coming up and uh yeah good stuff everything mike said is absolutely true so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave thank that you. there thanks for watching we'll see you next time All right.